So was it worth it? Um, honestly, if it wasn't for the sheer determination and stubbornness, um, I would say no, it was not worth doing this myself. <laughs> Okay, so here's another project that I probably should have, I should have just said no to, um, but because I'm a little bit too stubborn and because I can do it, I decided I was gonna make my own auger, and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you what it looks like so far. So the plan was simple: cut out some discs. Uh, I think this is three sixteenths inch and a half hole, six inch diameter, cut it and then put it in a jig and make the flights for an auger. They're supposed to look something like this. Okay, but man, this turned out to be a nasty thing. Um, this five, 3 16 metal is a little stronger than I anticipated. I thought I'd be able to just bang it with a hammer. Nope, didn't happen. Here's a bunch of nine inch pieces that I also just finished doing and that took me most of the day. But just because uh, I had to make a jig. Now, here's a couple that I did, and uh, they do fit nicely, you know. So here, here's the inch and a half, and they fit around. So I'm, I'm happy with the way they turned out, but man, that was a lot of work. So what I ended up having to do is create this crazy jig, okay. In theory, it's quite simple. I have a piece here with a slot, and another piece with a slot. And then I welded a bunch of angle iron on one side and on the other side. So essentially it keeps this piece and this piece together and it can slide up and down. So I was able to slide it in like that. And then I was just gonna put it in the press and press this down, which would grab one half and move it down whereas the other one stayed up. But the issue was that it squeezed this hole into a real oval shape that after um, wouldn't fit on there. So I had to make another contraption. So I took another inch and a half piece of solid steel and I can slide it through the hole here. There we go and fit it down in here and then i had to okay so it, the issue was that if i just had that piece in there it would take the bottom and it would move it over as as the uh the flight was getting twisted like this okay so i had to make a little pocket to hold the bottom piece but then what the issue was is that um this piece it would pull it would pull it out and then it would bend, it, this would be flat, and then this would be bent like this. Actually, I think it would be down the other way. And so that wasn't good. So I had to make a contraption where I could take a bolt and put it in here. So in that side, I have a, a hole threaded. So now I can tie this all the way straight down. And then the last issue was that as I was pulling them, these here would stretch so much that they would pull out. So I ended up having to weld this piece here and this piece here on the other side I had to weld it against the, uh, the bracket here so that it wouldn't pull out and it wouldn't pull this way and it wouldn't pull that way. So anyways, that's how it works. I'm gonna set it up in the, uh, in the press and I'll show you what it looks like there. Okay, so here's the contraption in the press. And uh, as I go, it slides the left side down. Sorry about the lighting here with the shadow. Then what I found I ended up having to do is uh, continually hit this so that the inside flight will slide down as the left hand side gets pushed down. And uh, that's the only way I was able to make it. Man, I can understand why augers are so expensive now. But, uh, and, oh, and the crazy thing is that I'll probably never use this jig again. So, 
but I'll get it done. I got three more to go, and then I can finally weld those augers together. So here it is. It uh, took me about three or four minutes to do. It didn't take very long. It just took a long time to uh, to make this jig and to work out all the bugs. So I would say from start to finish, um, setting it all up, doing the whole thing, it takes me about 10 minutes to do one of these. And I had to do five six inch pieces and uh, five nine inch pieces. So was it worth it? Um, honestly, if it wasn't for the sheer determination and stubbornness, um, I would say no, it was not worth doing this myself. Um, I guess an auger cost about a couple hundred bucks. Um, whereas now, with all the materials, not counting my labor, I figured it would cost me about uh, maybe uh, maybe $80 for both augers, um, including the sheet metal there, or the 3 16 metal and the two inch pipe for the nine inch auger and the inch and a half solid um, for the six inch auger. So under a hundred dollars for two augers versus maybe three or four hundred dollars if I had to buy them. Um, but like I said, it was a ridiculous amount of work and uh, I kind of, I kind of wished it didn't take so long, but I'm almost done. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when I'm completely done. Okay, so the six inch auger is done. And uh, it looks pretty ugly. Definitely not uh, commercially manufactured, that's for sure. But it's just gonna dig in the dirt, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I do wish that uh, I was able to make it a little bit wider. This is only about three and a half, maybe four inches. Um, I wish I had been able to extend it a little bit because this is only about two feet from here to here but it really doesn't matter um the digging part is at the bottom so what i think i'm going to do is i got some ar 400 plate there that i picked up at the scrapyard it's behind the ladder so i might cut up a little piece and uh weld it at the very the very cutting edge right there um at the bottom i think i'm just going to use an angle grinder and cut a bit of a tip into it a little pointy tip um i don't think i need to do anything else with that i think that'll work and then all i gotta do is uh do an adapter so that i can fit it in here drill the hole and then this auger is completely done tomorrow i'll see if i can do the nine inch auger into the two inch core just piping and uh then i should be done Man, I'm telling you, that was a crazy, crazy long project. Um, I don't think I would do that again if I knew how much work that was. But anyways, now that it's done, I'm, uh, I'm glad it's done. So there they are, finally done. A six inch and a nine inch auger. They're 48 inches long, well, 46. And the cutting edge is only about two feet. But uh, it certainly looks a lot nicer now that it's painted. I took a, a ripping bucket tooth and I welded it at the bottom there. This is hardened steel, just uh, for a wear surface. But uh, yeah, they turn out all right. Definitely look a lot, a lot nicer now that they're painted. Now I'm just going to have to wait for spring, then I can start digging. <laughs> 